Hey y'all, welcome to the Mace Family Kitchen. So <laughs> today is Thanksgiving, but I'm sitting out of that one in order to bring you some great breakfast burritos. Um, I've had a lot of requests to just show how the process is done and, and what other people do with them. So we're keeping up with the Cowboys game and making some burritos for today. So I've already done some of the work for you and we'll just kind of give you an idea. So these are the potatoes. Now the significance about the potatoes in this instance is that I've taken them down to a very small cut. And the reason that is is because finding, unless you get the really giant tortillas, that becomes a problem because if you stuff it too much, of course it's hard to close them. So I just try and make it a little easier and the ability to stuff more. This is, of course, Hatch New Mexico chili. The eggs. So if you're unfamiliar, this is a scrambled egg. And in mine, I add a, about a shot glass full of half and half. Makes the eggs a little creamier, makes them go a little bit further. And I'll use those tips and tricks there. And this is about four, thing, uh, four pounds of sausage, ground sausage. Um, the thing here is that it's more than most people make, but let's remember, you can take these, uh, put them together, put them to cool for a little bit, wrap them in tin foil and I, well, I start out with saran wrap usually or a freezer um, clean wrap and tin foil or to make use of that vacuum sealer, those are amazing. We're gonna stick them in the freezer, then you pop them in the oven 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes a little more to get the center, depending on how thick it is. You've got breakfast. so. I like to make a lot of these ahead, give to friends. Joe loves to have them during the day. It's gonna be amazing to just grab that out and start on your meal. All right, so in a minute, we'll get started with all the preparation to put the tortillas together, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so trying to fight the sun over here. So I have the plain flour tortillas and a cast iron pan my favorite of all things so in order to go ahead and do the the burritos the one thing that you do have to remember is that in order to make tortillas pliable and foldable you have to warm them up now you can use tongs whatnot i i wasn't raised here but or, or, i'm sorry i wasn't born here but I was raised here, so a lot of things I still use my hand to do. So this is a pretty hot um, pan, and it does get warm on your hands when you're working with them. I leave everything over here and the skillet going so I don't have to keep starting over. But other than that, we're gonna take it over and assemble it. We'll be back in just a second to get this one started. All right, so we're back to assemble this. I'm gonna try and stay out of your way so you can watch easily. And we'll get everything going on here. So of course I have a little bit of a walk in order to keep everything on this side. So we're gonna add a little bit of our meat. And this is of course up to you, how much meat, how much potatoes, how much egg. Uh, but remember, if you get it stuffed too high, all that's going to happen is it's going to be very difficult for you to close. All right, so we're going to put some eggs in. And it doesn't look like a lot. However, once you fold them and, and start realizing when you eat them, they're actually more full than you give them credit for usually. All right. I'm going to put my chili on last, so we'll just move it over here. Maybe I can 
So you see my potatoes are, hopefully you can see a little bit there. They're nice and small. And then we're gonna put some of the chili on. It's really hard for me sometimes to work with just my hands or just a spoon, sorry. All right, so we have some cheese and this can be cheddar cheese or your style of fiesta. However you want to go about it. Queso fresco, um, any of that. So you're gonna take the sides. So you have your long line here. You're gonna take the sides, kind of pull them in, but you're also going to kind of continue working as, as your fingers are working, kind of bend them in so that this has a smaller shape and then kind of roll with it. And this is important because now, especially because I have it a little fuller, it's not gonna fall out over the sides but it will have all that great stuffing in the middle without just coming apart, the edges flipping out, um, because once you start eating that, it usually makes a big mess. All right, guys, so that's how you do a nice, lovely breakfast burrito. Like I said, you can wrap these in a freezer wrap or a saran wrap and tin foil, throw them in the freezer that's why I make so much at a time because I like to have them available when we're busy we're working we just can't get back to making a meal after we've cooked a lot during the day sometimes that works sometimes we're outside and that's not the issue we're just coming in and not having a meal prepared and ready so this makes it easier and if you guys have a vacuum sealer that works perfect love to use our vacuum sealer makes things much quicker and remember don't put them in the oven 350 in the oven with saran wrap or even the freezer wrap it's gonna melt <laughs> all right guys you have a great one enjoy your thanksgiving and i'm gonna continue to finish this off Guys, I wanted to add one last thing that I thought of after I shut this down. Uh, with the potatoes, there is onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. I know, pretty basic for me, not adding the extra stuff, but I just wanted to add that in there. I just cover them up, keep them kind of slow until they use some of the, oh my goodness, um, condensation inside so that they will be cooked through and then at the last bit when I can see they're getting cooked through I started adding a little more heat just to let them crisp up a little bit so I just wanted to add that in there so that you know what to add to your potatoes your eggs just get salt and pepper and your sausage that nice sausage can't improve on it too much so I just wanted to add that in there for you. God bless and have a great afternoon.